Hello everyone, I'm Sarah, a cloud orchestration software engineer in Intel. The container runtime and language runtime are my focus now. I have made some performance optimization contributions to the PHP language open source community. And my teammate is Yong Li He, a senior cloud software engineer at Intel with 15 years and many facts on the network, security, and Linux system. His cloud journey began with OpenStack in 2011, where he eventually became a committer on Nova. In 2021, he embarked on Cloud Native and Kubernetes, enhancing Istio service mesh security. Today, it's my honor to be here to show our topic, a Watson runtime for files protected by TE. We will show you the background of the confidential computing and TE environment, and the current solution and why we choose a Watson runtime for files protected by TE. So we have four parts. Firstly, what is traditional confidential computing? And now data security is a critical issue. Confidential computing focuses on securing the data in use, which is a strong demand in many cloud computation cases. The data being processed and the techniques that are used to process it are accessible only to authorized programming code. These are invisible and unknowable to anyone else, including the cloud provider. Confidential computing is important in many commercial scenarios. For example, financial firms face an endless problem of digital safe and fraud. Recently, confidential computing can be employed in an AI-based money laundering detection approach, utilizing federated learning. In this strategy, team often work in different companies collaboratively to build a shared prediction model. Unlike standard machine learning approaches that require data centralization, Federated learning allows for training data to be kept in the local environment, such as a bank's internal system, with no need to store the data in the cloud. They can use confidential computing to make sure that the right programs are operating on the right data, rather than being shared across all companies. Besides, there are all sorts of scenarios in the financial services where confidential computing could help. As many companies rely more and more on public and hybrid cloud services, data privacy in the cloud is so um, comparative. Confidential computing provides more data security assurance and encourages companies to move more of their sensitive data and uh, computing workloads into the public cloud. Specifically, a hardware-based trusted execution environment in CPU is built for confidential computing. How TE secured it in use? The embedded encryption keys machine is ensure that the keys are accessible to the authorized applica application code only. If the authorized code is hacked, the TE denies access and cancels the computation. In this way, sensitive data is protected in the memory. Now, three hardware platforms already support the TE. Intel SGX, ARM Trust Room, and AMD SEV. They have different implementations. For example, Inter Intel has been a pioneer in confidential computing by introducing software guard extensions that are known as Inter SGX. 
It continue this trend with upcoming trust domain extensions TDX. AMD also introduced secure encrypted virtualization to isolate gas and the hypervisor. ARM Trust Room isolates the critical security firmware assets and private information from the rest of the application. As we can see that different environments have different programming model based on their own hardware, hardware platform, which brings overhead for programmers. For example, software developers need to create enclave and debug applications in, enabled by Intel STX. The trusted function is called and the code running inside enclave consumes important data directly. And Intel TDX is introducing a new architecture to help deploy hardware isolate virtual machine. And AMD SV is an extension to the AMD V architecture, which supports running encrypt virtual machine under control of KVM. Encrypted VM have their pages secured such that only the guest itself has access to the unencrypted version. Now, um, already gave a client solution in a mobile. Applications in the conventional OS and T refer to untrusted and trusted world. A TE-based kernel is used for scheduling, memory management, crypto methods, and other basic OS functions. TE functional API here defines the interfaces for communicating with the trusted world from untrusted world applications. The trusted applications have access to the OS functions exposed by the TE internal API. Furthermore, the hypervisor and virtualization makes it possible for many TEs in a single device. There are two separate hypervisors in one device. For the secure world in the right, the monitor mode just manages the actual switch of state in the course from the normal world to the secure world. The boot code sets up the initial state of the secure world. However, all about is just a client solution. Many developers are trying to bring TE to cloud, edge computing, and more scenarios. So, how TE exists in cloud native? Let's see the confidential container project. Confidential containers project, which is to standardize confidential computing at the container level. Uh, this will enable the, the Kubernetes users to deploy confidential container workloads um, by using the familiar workflows and tools without extensive knowledge of underlying confidential computing technologies. Now, Zoom Kubernetes service supports adding confidential computing VM nodes as a agent pool in a cluster. These nodes just help you to run sensitive workloads. While keeping a special block uh, memory encrypted per container, the Kubernetes scheduler will dispatch these TE containers in a cluster which is, which is convenient to run for cloud natives in the cloud native scene. So let's dive into the working model for TE containers briefly. The TE images need twice building. Normal building is the same as the process of normal images. 
Then the T devil tool will rebuild it and encrypt some layers. Finally, we push these container images into the image registry. This registry is responsible for storing and delivering encrypted container images. The secret storage is responsible for storing secrets that the workload needs in order to run, such as disk decryption keys. And it delivers these keys to the TE application, finally. In summary, the Confidential Containers projects have several advantages. It keeps tense confidential data secure. It uh, removes CSP from a trusted computing base. And it constructs the general attestation infrastructure. And it's compliant with OSI runtime specification. And it could be deployed in any public cloud Kubernetes platform. And it really standardizes confidential computing at a container level. Uh, then just let's take a look at a specific example of COCO, confidential containers. Inclover provides the industry with an open source container runtime architecture for confidential computing. It's led by the Alibaba Cloud Operating System security team. Let's see the workflow of Inclover containers. The Kubernetes initialized container runtime interface requests to the container D, such as request to create a pod. A CR container D present is provided for container D. After container D receives a request, it forwards that request to shame run. Shame run e can create both run C and run e containers. Uh, here, for example, create a run e container, use libOS to convert a common image to a T image. Run e will create an enclave in the container and runs the application in the enclave. Run e just loads the InterSGX driver into a container create process first in the container as init running that, and then use init running that to create the enclave. The enclave is a T, a T protected by IntelSGX here. It, it includes the libOS, language runtime, and the applications. Now we can see that a trusted application is running. Well, this project really reduces the high threats of confidential computing and provides developers with a real practice. However, the current confidential container technology still has some shortcomings. You know. The use and development costs are relatively high due to the different hardware. Since the T-encrypted container image for different platforms can be reused easily, which brings a big storage and network overhead simultaneously. And uh, encryption induces a bigger image size, big footprint, coarse and slower code start too. And the isolation is still too coarse due to the whole workload isolation. So we want to try some solutions. And the was not wrong time. Then let my teammates Yong Li introduce the was not wrong time in the detail. Thank you. Hey everyone, this is Yong Li He. I'm very glad to present this to you. Thanks for watching.
we're going to go through two sections. In section three, we talk about how Wasm could be used in serverless platform by two users' cases. In second section, we talk about how put Wasm runtime into hardware TE. In this section three, we're going to talk about what could be done by combining Wasm and the hardware TE and follow two user cases the open source serverless platform Knative and the Wasm native platform from Spin. WebAssembly is a binary instruction format for a stack-based virtual machine. Wasm is designed as a portable compilation target for many programming languages. Enable us deployments our apps on the web. It also enables us to deploy our Wasm applications in server by using some specific Wasm runtime. For server-side application, especially in the edge cloud, the safety and the trusted run environments is very demand. We combined Wasm with hardware trusted execute environments, then provided a safety and the trusted cloud. This means we need to put Wasm runtime into hardware trusted execute environments. We will soon to know we gained more than a safety solution. We will talk more about it soon. We have several different hardware trusted execute environments models. For example, the compact solution like Intel SGX requires specific SDK and the tools to build your applications. But the TDX instead in the VM level provided more familiar tools for developers, required less effort and could transit the legacy application smoothly into trusted domain. Web assembly running in the trusted execution environments have more benefit than we expected initially. For example, in the function as a service platform, more specifically in the Kinetio, Function boot time is a key factor for user. Awesome function have a unique benefit to provide help on the fast boot, even running in the trusted environments. Awesome runtime is small and identical to every awesome applications. In traditional applications, each application how their unique and different runtime requirements. We already tried to improve the image boot up speed by letting it boot from a snapshot. That's very helpful. Now combined with WebAssembly makes snapshot solution become more attractive. This means less disk space taken and quick boot and a pre-booted function run time queen is then became possible. We choose two example platform to introduce more about combination of the Watson and the trusted execute environment. Kinetio is an open source function as a service platform and the spin is the Wasm native cloud. Kinetio has two main components, the serving and the eventing. These two components work together to automate and management the applications. Kinetio take care of the details of networking, auto-scaling, 
that developing team can focus on more about serving logic itself instead of the everything details in the platform. In the Kinetio, function is a key component. Kinetio provides a simple programming model do not require in-depth knowledge of Kubernetes and the container. Kinetio functions is easily created and easily deploying into Kinetio platform. When you build or run a function, a container image is generated automatically for you. Each time you invoke your code, Kinetio will boot several ports for you as required. Then run your function. That is your code. Combine the function as a service platform with trusted domain based Watson application means we need to put the whole Watson runtime and the Watson binary into the trusted domain. This is going to get a safe and trusted function as a service platform. This will address some concern from user. For example, a company may run a fast platform. They need to secure the interaction with their function and protect their critical data. Put their function and their data in trusted domain could prevent machine attack and prevent malfunction operators. A talent company may want to protect their function code and the algorithm data, want their data in the trust domain, and won't leak their data to cloud service provider or other functions in same provider. To address this concern, we build the function as a Watson binary and the encrypt the binary, then use web assembly here is mandatory because the fun the files usually build your function from your source code. But for security, we're going to encrypt it our Watson binary. That totally break the function as a service cloud's workflow. We even could not provide a correct container image to run customers' binary application. But with Watson, we could address this problem because WebAssembly's runtime is the same for all Watson binary. Now let's us discuss another example. Build a trusted execute environments with a Watson native cloud. Firmons Spin is a Watson cloud. Every application in the cloud is Watson binary. Spin is kind of Watson runtime built on some Watson engine, of course. And uh, Spin also interface Watson binary to host in the standard way. This is a very simplified chart to elaborate how Spin works. Spin is an open source framework for building and running fast microservice with WebAssembly. It aims to be the easiest way to get started with WebAssembly microservice and take advantage of the last developments in the WebAssembly component mode and the awesome time runtime. Spin offers the simple CRI that helps you to create, distribute, and uh, execute applications. Spin also offers a standard library help your Watson applications interact with cloud and uh, with the host side service. The Watson engine links your application with the host components that Host components provide your Watson application services like HTTP, Redis, 
and the other APIs. to make Blossom runtime secure and trusted in the Blossom native cloud. We conclude that put all the spin in trusted domain is a smooth solution. For VM like TE, for example, the Intel trusted domain extension, this is easy to do so. In section four, we are going to talk about how we put the Wasm runtime in trusted domain. We partition this topic in several small sections. Talk about three things. First one is how this works for trusted domain extension. Second one, we talk about how it could work for SGX in Clio. And uh, the last part, we talk about what was some runtime available to begin with? For VM level trusted domain, we have all to support was some runtime. But need we treat that VM a little bit differently. For example, in Intel TDX, there is a TDX tools provided to help a developer build their individual components package or install pre-built binary, even create guest image. This is a very nice start point to build Watson runtime in the Intel TDX. As another example, the SGX Inclave needs different support. We evaluate the open source Eagle project. That's very helping. Developing confidential app applications required knowledge and the significant code changes normally. But with Eagle, you can skip that and write your Go code as you usually do. Like uh, SGX does not exist at all. With Ego, we don't need to refactor the Watson runtime. We could use three simple commands to build, sign, and run your Watson runtime in the Enclave. As shown here, Ego given the Watson runtime example. This is also mean we immediately got a working start point. That's exciting things for starting exploring new projects like this one. We can put our energy to put it together with fast platform instead of worry about how to put the Wasmer into Enclave. We also have another good choice for awesome runtime. The WebAssembly Micro Runtime, the Warmer. This is a lightweight, standalone WebAssembly runtime with small footprint, high performance, and highly configurable features for applications. The then target for embedded edge cloud, support the trusted execution environment natively. Warmer is a good choice for edge cloud to further reduce the footprint and the size. Farmer is a C-based implementation, but not a problem while help of ego. Warmer itself could be a simple library to be part of Go version Warmer. Thanks everyone. That's all I present today. Thanks for watching.